Hi, Elena and Brooklyn here with Stretchy Arm Pilates ER. We're going to be going over our arm series facing back on the reformer. Um, please note that any of these arm series, they can be done on the Cadillac or the springboards um, or any apparatus where you could hook a spring to and do some arm work seated. Um, you could do this on the box would be level one. You could do this seated. You can do this kneeling and for the more adventurous, extremely strong type that are very controlled, you could do it standing. Um, so be very careful with whatever you play with. Um, I am going to do this seated so you can see how this is done seated. Uh, again, we're on one spring here. So one red spring, if that's your lingo as well. I'm going to bring my legs through the shoulder stoppers so um let's cross one leg on top of the other uh just so we can kind of talk to all of the body types um bring yourself at least one hand width distance between your bum and the back of the carriage just in case we ever lean back you have enough space for your pelvis to uh be on the carriage so grab your straps. Again, this is our arm series. So level one, if I really wanted to build myself up, you'd be on the box seated face in this direction. Your feet would be on the headrest doing all the same moves. Next step would be seated here in this position. Then it would be kneeling. And then from there, that's usually our stopping point, but you could go up the standing like I said over here. Um, so really try that. Let's see if we're practicing for a very, 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 very long time. Okay. So, palms are turned back. You pull these arms back behind you. It's heavy seated this way. Now from here, stop right at the hip bones. Exhale as we pull back behind us. Inhale, stop right at the hip bones. A blue spring is really nice, or if you have a lighter spring, a uh, yellow spring, white spring, whatever really works for you, pull back. Now our classical version of our chest expansion, you pull back, turn your head one direction, Turn your head the other direction, look forward, and then release the hands at the hip bones. Pull arms back again. Start turning your head from the other direction that you started with the last time. Turn your head the other direction, look forward, and then release the arms. I can't help myself. We've got to cross our legs the other way after doing that. Pull the arms back, turn our head one way, turn our head the other way, turn our head forward, release the hip bones. Pull our arms back, turn our head the other way we started from last time. Turn our head the other way, other, 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 turn forward, and then release. Good. From here, let's just be high. Now turn your palms towards each other, pull the arms back. Inhale, stop with the hips. Exhale, pull back. So there's three versions of this as far as our arm positions go. You can always be classical with the head there. That is great for lots of neck stuff, balancing in between those shoulders and arms. Bring your palms forward, pull the arms back, and inhale, release. So at the bottom of our ribs, that structure, I want it to point directly at the top, or the top of the pelvis. The top of the pelvis and the bottom of the ribs are best friends, and there's even space between the front and the back of the body, the sides of the body. We've been doing chest expansion for a while. Let's move on to something else, shall we? Let's reach our arms forward, palms up. You pull for a bicep curl. Inhale, you release. Exhale, pull to the bicep curl. Sometimes if I'm in a class setting and I do thigh stretch, in thigh stretch, I stay lean back and I do bicep curls there. So find it wherever you like to put it in your series of work. Good. Let's just move on to triceps since we're here. Bring our arms back, lean forward, bend the elbows. Exhale, straighten. Bend the elbows. Exhale, straighten. One more. Good. Stand as tall as you can. Bring your arms through the straps. Palms are going to be towards the front wall. Your arms are going to open up like a field goal. You bring your arms forward, inhale. You exhale, open up to the side. Find the vertical line of the back. Will those legs reach long to the second toes? One more like this. Rhomboids number one, rhomboids number two. Turn your palms towards your face. Switch to the leg position. Bring the arms forward. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, pull back. You never have to do this full series here. This is just all the stuff that you can do facing this direction in our classical work for the most part. Now from here, let's close this. Bring our arms forward. I'm gonna cross the straps and choke up to the top of the straps with my work. I want you to open the arms up to the side. Exhale, inhale as you straighten those arms. 
our rows. Exhale as you bring these elbows to the left and right side. Inhale as you release. Now find that plumb line in our core. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over ribs, ribs over hips. Don't break it. And figure out how you can move these arms while honoring that. Bow and arrow. Bend one arm, keep that arm straight. Now look past that elbow that's bending. And then straighten that arm out, look forward. Other side, bow and arrow. Like you're pulling a bow, look at the back elbow. Inhale as you release forward. Now our spine is a rotating pole. As you move here, it doesn't bend. It doesn't go forward, it goes aside. A rotating pole. And then try to feel the same speed in every position. Let's do one more. Exhale. Something's telling me you got to do one more on the other side. I'm trying to get balance on the press my bell. Exhale. Good. Let's come out of this all the way. Bring your arms at this. And I will add on our rowing series since we're here facing this direction. Uh, this one's a little bit more step by step by step by step. Take your time on finding out your rows. I'm going to cross my other leg on top. Um, so again, the rowing series is not part of the arm series, but I'm going to add it in just because it's efficiently here. So turn your palms up, bend your elbows. You lean back. You straighten those arms up and over the head, and then you fold over those legs. Reach those arms forward. Pull the arms down to the ground, back to the bum, up to the ceiling, and into the feet. Sit tall. Palms are turned up. You exhale, bend. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, straighten those arms up out over the head. You fold yourself over those legs. Grab those straps. Pull those straps down to the ground, back in space, up to the ceiling, and into the feet. Sit tall. Let's just do two each. Switch to the other leg. There's no really rhyme or reason on the switch. You just don't like to do it on the same leg. Turn our palms towards each other. Arms are straight. We bend our elbows. Palms go towards our heart. Round our spine like a ball. You inhale, open these arms out to the side. Exhale, you dive over those legs. At the same time, you pull these arms back behind you. Your arms lift up to the ceiling, and they dive to the feet. Good. I wanted the same stretch on the other leg, so we begin with the legs. You bend the elbows. Palms are turned towards you. Round the spine like a ball. You lean back. Open those arms out to the side. You exhale, dive yourself. Arms up. Arms back behind you. Inhale, lift in. Exhale, those arms pull down towards those feet. Sit up nice and tall. You have these straps go down. I think I gave you all the arm series facing back. I hope you enjoyed that. With uh, You had rowing back, too. You had two versions of rowing back as well, one number one and number two. I hope you enjoyed the and Brooklyn's time. Enjoy your time. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.